As you can expect, a 343 blog update about Halo Infinite's multiplayer has just dropped for us guys talking about BTB 2.0, no more red versus blue, expanded customization, the academy, flighting information, the release date, and a deep dive into Halo Infinite's multiplayer going on on Monday morning. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So guys, it finally happened. We have a multiplayer gameplay trailer reveal. They will showcase those guys at E3. And let me tell you, I was a big fan of the presentation. I am very excited about Halo Infinite and what's gonna be coming for us this summer. And as I predicted, as we have every E3, we get a nice blog update corresponding with the presentation that goes into more information than what we saw at E3. So in this video, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know from that blog update. So if you guys like news and informational kind of videos like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you wanna see some more content like this. If you wanna stay today with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So here we are in the development update guys about Halo Infinite. As we kind of scroll down, we just a nice little introduction here, but when we look down into this, we have more information coming out later this week as well about Halo Infinite. Right now we have the journey. So right now you can check out the great journeys so far available today on Xbox Wire. This is written from Joseph Stain. This is essentially just a nice little promotional piece about Halo Infinite and everything we have to offer. Almost of it gets mentioned in this development update, but tomorrow, guys, 343 Industries Halo Infinite Multiplayer Overview, Monday on June 14th, more gameplay and insights from the team debuts at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube. Then on Tuesday, we have a cosplay guide. If you guys saw that, remember that from ODST's release on PC? I'm sure we'll get something very similar like that. And then on Wednesday, we have a cannon fodder going over some lore of the new multiplayer elements of Halo Infinite. I'm sure we'll get some more juicy details out of that as we have previously from these cannon fodders. So on Thursday, June 24th, we'll get an Inside the Infinite development update about Halo Waypoint and what the team has been working on there. This is much more than just the website itself though, because it goes into talking about player engagement and customization as well. In the previous development update, they mentioned in progression and customization are big elements for Halo Waypoint. So first, let's go into what the Academy is. This is a brand new thing for Halo that we've never seen before. This is essentially a way for new players to jump into Halo for the first time or haven't played it in a very long time to jump in and play. Under the mentorship of Spartan Commander Lorette, the Academy offers players in the opportunity to hone their skills and get better acclimated with the armaments and environments of Halo Infinite. Recruits will be able to dial in their marksmanship skills at the target range or jump right into customizable training skirmishes and square off against AI controlled bots. Now they don't mention exactly how many bots you can put into a match. If you can put a full BTB lobby in or if you can only just have like your regular AV8s or if you can just have your regular 4v4s. They did mention that within custom games you can fill out lobbies with bots as well. So it really kind of depends how good these bots are if they're going to be straight up jackal sniper bots or they're going to be bots that may be walking into walls we'll just kind of have to wait and see well i'm sure we'll know more on monday this next section talks about the maps modes and just the multiplayer experience as a whole and when i first read this it just screams absolute true halo experience at the core of halo infinite's multiplayer offering is the arena which once again pits two teams of four spartans against each other in a variety of new and returning modes halo's arena has and continues to be defined by fair starts and the teams working closely to control key areas of the map while utilizing the sandbox in the most impactful manner. Scavenging also remains a key component. Players will strategically work together to acquire newly spawned weapons off the rack or take down an opponent to loot their equipment and use it against them. Remember your academy training, jump into battle, and revel in the accolades of legendary multiplayer announcer Jeff Steitzer. Now if that's not the most Halo thing you could possibly hear, I don't know what is. This sounds like a true Halo multiplayer experience, not trying to reinvent the wheel or anything like we've seen in previous Halo games. This is just a tried and true Halo multiplayer, have it stand up on its own that hey, Halo is good enough to keep up with everybody because what we have for Halo is something unique and special. And here we actually go into some really good information about BTB 2.0. They just call it BTB though. Saying that it'll be bigger than ever with 24 players on a large variety of vehicle friendly maps tapping into the full extent of the sandbox. BTB is the epitome of the Halo experience and the ultimate Spartan battle fantasy with Pelicans swooping in to deploy fresh vehicles 
weapon ordnance dropping from the sky, and tactical updates from Commander Lorette. Big Team Battle is the wild, ruckus, fun social experience that cranks everything up to 11, and we will be sharing more details later this summer. And to confirm, we do have social and ranked playlists with crossplay with PC and Xbox consoles, with the Xbox Series X sporting 120 frame mode. Halo Infinite will also support split screen, which I remember correctly, it's two player split screen, four player online co-op, and LAN abilities for PC local servers. And talking about Halo Infinite customization, look at our squad right here. This is what Halo customization should look like. This is just looks amazing. The armor looks great. The coatings look really well done as well. And just overall, just really well done customization right here. 343 does state that this will be the most customizable Halo we've ever had ever. So a new mechanic within customization of Halo Infants multiplayer are personal AIs. Stated here, the one example of new personal AI that you'll be able to equip during multiplayer matches. They also help capture objectives as pictured below right here. Now I'm not exactly sure how they would help you capture things if it's just like an icon that pops up, which I'm guessing that's probably what it would be. I couldn't imagine like planting your AI and then like leaving the objective. It kind of defeats the purpose of having an objective. But just another little bit of customization right here. Now this next section I believe actually does officially confirm red versus blue will not be in Halo. To avoid any misinterpretations, we'll just read this straight so you guys can understand what we're talking about. To fully support our goals for expanded player expression in Halo Infinite, the team has designed a new friend and foe system for multiplayer games. At a high level, this functions as an outline system that uses different colors to denote friends and foes. These colors are configurable for accessibility purpose and whatever colors you assign will match your scoreboard team bases and team flags they say that it's not actually shown in the reveal trailer as it's a much more cinematic kind of trailer but this is actually how it is in the gameplay which is awesome and it would say we'll know more about this later on so i guess the rumors were correct that red versus blue will not be in halo infinite looks like they're going to be using an outline system probably like a blue outline red outline would be my guess but of course you can customize that color however you want so i figure something similar to like say the halo 5 spectator mode but obviously you won't be able to see through walls this would just totally make sense as you get, we're going to have people that are going to be paying hard earned money to get like these armor coatings and different kinds of customization. Why cover that up with a team color? And also you want to be able to showcase your customization and that's going to be awesome. Though it depends how they do it. Other games can get away with this. As I know, like Valorant does an outline system and pretty much the only game I play now that has like this red versus blue team colors is really just Halo. All of the other shooters that I play do a pretty good job of being able to indicate who's a friend and who's a foe without having to have like strict team colors. Again, we'll just have to wait and see with the reveal of the multiplayer of exactly how this whole system will play out. Now this next section, we have information on the flighting process as they do say that it will still happen this year, but it did mention here specifically saying, while our schedule shifted due to the pandemic development timelines, our commitment to our community has not. Later this summer, we still plan for limited pre-release technical previews of with Halo Insiders to help us stress test and improve the game on the road to launch. Now we've been hearing a lot of news and leaks about a September release, but we obviously did not get that with this development update. My guess is that the leaks and rumors that we're hearing about a September release are it's actually gonna be when we will see the first flighting process happen for Halo Infinite, which would be later summer, would be September. So I would just go and sign up with your Halo Insider program right now, guys, like seriously, go do it. Now it does say kind of limited excess and stuff like that. So I'm expecting it to be more kind of a, just a playable demo what they kind of made it sound like rather than like a way for the community as a whole to jump in and play it. Obviously they will be taking feedback from this if there's anything major that absolutely needs to be changed before release. But this sounds like more of a stress test, be able to see like how it works on different systems, how well the net code works, how the performance of the game is as a whole for visuals and also for performance of like hit registration and things like that. So though we do not have a time for the infinite flighting process, I would highly suspect to see September be the time frame for the first public flighting to happen. And lastly, the release date, we did not get one. We still are holding true to holiday 2021, which I'm like, guys, let's be real. It's either releasing in September, October, or November. 
I highly doubt September because they want more dev time, possibly late October because that's when Halo 5 launched. I really think it's going to be the month of November when we will see this release date as November 15th is the 20th anniversary of Halo. We've had Steve Downs, the voice actor for Master Chief, and another voice actor that's going to be in Halo Infinite also talk about the release date being in November. Bonnie Ross pointed out that, hey, doesn't Halo have an anniversary that year happening in November? So I think all signs are pointing towards that. I don't know why they didn't give us a release date. Like we know it's going to be before Black Friday. It's going to be in November. So it's like a two week time period. And it's probably going to be on like a Monday or a Tuesday. Like, come on, you've had three years to figure out when you're going to release this game. Just give us an actual date. But as soon as we get a hard set date, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel as soon as possible. Now we will be releasing more videos about what we saw today at E3. It's like a ton of information. We need to break down a lot more in different kind of videos for their own topics. So make sure you subscribe to the channel guys, or if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got linked to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.